Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 38th annual Green Thumb Grow Together Conference. My name is Carlos Martinez, and I'm honored and humbled to serve as the new director of Green Thumb. Since 1978, the Community Gardening Program of the New York City Parks Department has been supporting and sustaining a growing network of more than 550 community gardens and over 20,000 volunteer gardeners across the city. We are deeply grateful for your efforts and our partnership over the years. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our annual conference as we prepare for another gardening season. This year, the Grow Together Conference has been planned as a two-part series. Today, we're kicking off a week of learning, sharing, networking, and most importantly, an opportunity to continue building community. And for the first time, the second part of this free and public conference will take place during Earth Week in April with in-person and hands-on workshops and activities in multiple community gardens across the five boroughs. Green Thumb is hosting this conference virtually for the second time. Last year, community gardeners and environmental stewards joined us from every corner of the city and even from different parts of the world as far as Australia, Bangladesh, France, Greece, Japan, Nigeria, Pakistan, Tanzania, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. We're gathered here today to reconnect, recharge, and reimagine our future. The theme of this year's conference is deeply rooted growing community connections. While we are still experiencing the impacts of a once in a generation pandemic that has exacerbated racial, economic, and social inequities, this is an opportunity to reconnect with our roots. This includes our ancestors, elders, neighbors, and the land. Community gardens have been always been essential. Let me say that again. Community gardens have always been essential places to helping New Yorkers heal and recover through challenging times. This was no different during this pandemic, when garden groups have been supporting mutual aid networks, feeding neighbors, providing an escape from the headlines, and giving people a space to find community. On behalf of our city and the Green Thumb staff, we commend gardeners for decades of self-determination and resilience. We will continue supporting you during this challenging journey. We are in this together. I also want to acknowledge and thank the entire Green Thumb staff for planning, organizing, and supporting this special conference and for their hard work in making sure that the Grow Together tradition continues. A special thanks to Tawana Bush, Elena Dubas Ruiz, Mera, Mera Gittleman, Serena Lewin, Alex Munoz, and Daniel Taino. A special thanks to the workshop presenters, webinar facilitators, panelists, and interpreters for their time and expertise to make this an engaging, meaningful, and accessible conference. Now, please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sue Donahue, our incoming NYC Parks Commissioner, who will be sharing remarks and offering a land acknowledgement as we kick off our 38th Grow Together Conference. Commissioner Donahue was recently appointed by New York City Mayor Eric Adams early this month to continue creating a more equitable park system where all New Yorkers can enjoy the physical, mental, and emotional benefits that open spaces such as community gardens provide. Welcome this morning, Commissioner Donahue. Thank you so much, Carlos. And I'm so happy to be here and to be joining you all. I haven't officially started in my role yet. I start on the 28th, but I think it's so fitting that the first thing I do as commissioner is join you all for this 38th annual Grow Together Conference. I couldn't be more happy to be here and to be joining you this morning. 
I'd like to acknowledge first off our guest today. We have council member, chair of the Parks and Recreation Committee, Shaker Krishna is with us, as well as our esteemed keynote speaker, Michael W. Twitty. And of course, all of you are dedicated Green Thumb staff led by Green Thumb director, Carlos Martinez. I well know that gardens are such an important part of the fabric of our city for more than 40 years. The theme of your conference today, Growing Community Connection, is so vital, especially now, after what we've all been through in these two years. Gardens provide incredible health benefits, both mental and physical, and they make our city more accessible and more equitable. It's such a focus, as Carlos just said in my introduction of our new mayor, and it's such an important way that you all contribute to the fabric of our city. The pandemic has obviously been so difficult, but Green Thumb has supported gardeners throughout. In 2021, it started three new gardens and renovated 24 more, delivered hundreds of thousands of seeds and plants, as well as installed hundreds of raised garden beds in 2021. Successful gardens would not be possible without you, our dedicated volunteers. Today, there are amazingly 20,000 Green Thumb Garden members throughout the city. You help ensure the gardens thrive through your maintenance, through your programming, and through your care. I so appreciate the great work that you do, as does all of the Parks Department and frankly, all of the city. Thank you so much for this great work. And I'm so pleased to be here and participating and celebrating with you on this 40th, great 40th conference. I'd like to, before I conclude, also offer a land acknowledgement on behalf of New York City Parks. We here in New York City are on the historic land of the Lenape peoples. I ask you today to join me in acknowledging the multitude of diverse Lenape and Lenni Lenape nations in this region, as well as the Canarsi, the Lakawe Rockaways, the Wappinger, the Matinecock peoples, and their elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. New York City Parks also acknowledges that our city was founded upon exclusions and erasures of many indigenous peoples. This acknowledgement demonstrates a commitment to beginning the process of working to dismantle the negative ongoing legacies of settler colonialism. And with that, I'd like to throw it back to you, Carlos, and thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for joining us this morning. We are also joined by council member Shekhar Krishnan, who represents Council District 25th. He also served as the new chair of the Council's Committee on Parks and Recreation. Council member Krishnan has been a champion of open space and safe streets, and we are very excited to have him with us this morning. Thank you so much, Carlos, um, for inviting me. Thank you all with the Green Thumb Program too for all you do every single day. Um, and a special shout out and thank you to Commissioner Sue Donahue, who I see uh, on as well. Um, and it's an honor to, to, to join her and to follow her in her remarks too. And, and really excited for us to work together because I know all of us share the vision about green space, community gardens, and the larger discussion over public space in our city too. Um, as Carlos mentioned, uh, I represent uh, Jackson Heights and Elmer's District 25 in the city council, which has some of the least amount of green space in all of New York City. We rank 50 out of 51 council districts uh, when it comes to green space. Um, and for me as a civil rights lawyer coming into this work, fighting for housing justice and representing tenants on the verge of eviction and housing discrimination, I've always seen the issue of parks and gardens and green space in our city as a larger social justice issue, how it connects to public health uh, here in Elmhurst and Jackson Heights as the epicenter of the epicenter of the pandemic. 
um, how it connects to housing justice, because where you live affects the resources that we need but don't receive for our parks and gardens and our green spaces and for everything else too. Um, and how it's an issue of Im immigrant justice too, because it connects to frequently communities of color and immigrant communities that often have the least amount of park, green or garden space in our city. Um, and that had a real effect on us during the pandemic uh, when we needed places to be able to go with our families and to socially isolate or distance as well. Um, that's the perspective that, that I bring into this work as Park Share the City Council. What I'm especially touched by to join you all today too is that the Green Thumb program with a volunteer core of 20,000 strong going on for uh, 40, 40 years at this point um, and starting at a time where, uh, as you all know well uh, in your work, there was so much disinvestment in our city, in communities like ours uh, around New York too. Uh, and now, while the forces may be different, the disinvestment and the impacts of it have carried over now as well. And so there are neighborhoods in our city um, that are facing the same kinds of disinvestment because they're ignored like ours uh, when it comes to inequality. And there are neighborhoods that have experienced such rapid forces of gentrification and displacement that are transforming green and garden spaces um, into luxury apartments that are only furthering displacement and residential segregation in our city too. Whatever side of the coin the community is on, the fact of the matter is, this is an issue of utmost attention in our city. It's an issue of public health and it's an issue of racial justice. And I wanna thank you all so much as volunteers for the work that you all do every single day to call attention to the need for more community gardens in our city, to transform vacant and abandoned lots into green space and to do so by focusing on communities that do not have green space. So I look forward to working with you all too in this effort to celebrating your anniversary today as well and to finding ways together to make sure that we make our parks and green space the social justice issue and the civil rights issue that it is in our city. So thank you for having me and looking forward to working together. Thank you very much, Council Member Krishna, for joining us this morning.